right, Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, back in the shop again tonight. We're working on this Losi Pro Moto again. All right, tonight we're going to be getting the uh, rear wheel. We're pretty much going to get the rest of the bike put together, but we're going to get these these uh, chain adjusters figured out which, which ones we're going to need to adjust our chain to the proper tension. We're also going to go over uh, the weights of the front caliper, the Vitavon front brake caliper, uh, compared to the stock, uh, the weight of the... Uh, what are these? The fork lug set versus the stock Losi ones. Also, we've got the Vitavon front disc. I'm going to weigh that. Check the thickness comparative to the stock Losi front one. The disc, uh, it's right here. I've got the wheel and forks off. Sorry, I can't get them all in the shot because I've got the bike. The lovely bike here in the shot. But we're going to get that front end pulled all apart. Uh, so we're going to get to this high speed tearing stuff apart. I'll get you some weights of everything and we'll start getting parts put on. Let's get her done. That was a tough one. Oh, that was factory, factory Loctite on that one. I took the other one out. Yeah, see, my Loctite, factory Loctite, really tough.
the uh, Vitavon brake rotor, rotor and caliper and pads together, it's a very tight system. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I already backed off the piston. As far as it will go, it's not engaging the pads anymore at all. So I'll probably take the pads out and grind them down a bit until they uh, pass smoothly in the wheel here. So that's what I think I'm going to have to do. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. I've had this uh, caliper off. Uh, like four times apart and uh, been s sanding down these pads and what I noticed it was the outside pad because when I put the caliper on it would get tight as the caliper went on pulling the disc towards it so I've been sanding down the outer disc pad and that's been working it's still a bit it's still got some drag to it it's definitely better than it was oops sorry wiggling the camera over it's definitely better than it was and I think I'm just going to put it on and run it and because you know it's going to run and it's going to wear in we're just going to run it and see how it performs if things start overheating or the front ends diving into corners because it's constantly dragging the front brakes well I'll deal with it but if it's not I'm just going to run it and let it wear in and those pads will wear down the disc will wear in everything will get nice and you know, working together harmoniously, and it should be all good. I'm not worried about it in the slightest. I can't wait to get this thing together anyway. I'll do those little maintenance things here and there when I need to. I'm not too concerned with that. I do use my RCs. They aren't for display, so if they... uh Need repairs? I do the repairs. It's just how it is, man. So let's get this back together. I'll stop talking. We'll keep working. All right, let's go. brake seems to be sticking a bit when it engages up like that so I'm going to take it apart check out what's going on well the barrel looks nice I don't see any issues there it's kind of sharp on the ends maybe I'll smooth out the ends a bit See if that will help. Hit him with some sandpaper. I'm going to screw that back in there, check out how it is now. I sanded the pads a little bit more and I took the caliper apart and uh, 
put the arm on with it off and so it seems like it's like it catches as soon as there's a disc in there it's getting better for that though but it still sticks it's weird it sticks when you lock it on it sticks Yeah, it's totally stuck on. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's very strange. Let's see where it... So, like, there's brakes are being applied. I can let... So, where does it start sticking? Let's see. No brakes. A little bit of brakes. Okay, brakes are being applied there. Okay, if I let go, it sticks. Oh, but it goes back off, so... Brakes are being applied. If I let off... Okay. Brakes are being applied harder. If I let off... Okay. Well, maybe... Under normal braking... It's going to let off. It's just if you pull it like a mofo up, it's not going to let off. So I think I'm going to put it together and test the braking system as is. I'm going to get these fork guards on. I'll test the braking system as is. I'm going to leave it with like that. I'm pretty happy with the wheel spinning like that. It's going to break in. Like I said, those pads are going to break in. Everything's going to wear in. The disc, the pads, all that stuff. Caliper, everything. I'm going to run this thing a couple of good battery packs. Then I'm going to check and see how it is. I'll let you guys know. Let's get on with this build though. Now factory Losi says that they don't want this screw that I'm putting in right now. This one right here goes in the bottom. It's a pinch bolt. They don't want this really tight. They want it to be able to axle to move in the pinch bolt area. They want it to be able to move in case of a crash so the forks can right themselves. So. What you want to do is you want to tighten it up to where it doesn't move. And then back it off until it does move. So it's still moving. It looks like we got to clamp her down good. Okay, it's not moving. So undo it just enough. Where it moves, I did it too much, so tighten it up a bit. Still moves pretty easily. I did put Loctite on it, so once I get to that place, I think that's going to be good. I think I'm happy with that. It moves, but not well. I'm going to go a little tighter. It's It's hard because being a real... You know, into really real dirt bikes, you don't want these bolts loose, these pinch bolts. It's it's kind of ridiculous that they say that. So I'm gonna leave it like that. It it moves, but it's also tight. So we're gonna go with that. That's about how the Losi bike was when I first got it for the uh, disc and the brakes rubbing. It's about like it was. So I'm happy with that as long as it works when I set up all the brakes and stuff.
Alright, the next thing we're going to go and look at and, and put on the bike is the rear brake disc. Now this brake disc is metal. The one on the bike is plastic because it's just fake. It's a faux brake. We, there is no... <laughs> the only rear brake you have is from the motor. You don't have a disc rear brake. Obviously, if you own the bike, you already know that. So, why do you need the metal one? You don't really. It's for looks. It looks better than the... The chrome plastic one here, it kind of does look pretty cheesy actually when you compare it to a real metal one. So we're going to install it, you know, we're going to, we're going to do the whole thing. We'll weigh it up and everything for you. So let's do that now. Outstanding. All right, we're going to put the chain on here and I'm not sure exactly what we're going to need for the chain adjusters. So we got them all here. I believe the ones that were in my bike, if that's even going to matter anymore, were the 0.25 forward, I believe is what they were. We're going to go with those. We're going to go with those. Yeah, we're going to go with those and see how it fits. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah. 
Brap, brap, brap. We got to do the uh, pinion. Let's do that. Flip her around. Flip her over. Show but before I let you know my name is Reason Nancy. Those two chicks have to be. And I keep you trying. I think that's what it was right there at the factory. That's her factory gap. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Oh, grab the right tool there, bud. Trying to tighten her down with a freaking... 1.5 or not gonna happen so i felt the motor shift as i tightened these down so we're gonna just snug them 